Welcome to the Leadership Conversation with me, Dr. Dennis V. Burke. Let's dive right into motivation. Everything we do, all of our activities, the things that drive us quite often, unless they're externally driven, are a function of our motivation. And our motivation, sometimes it might be obvious to us, it might be overt, or sometimes most often it is a subtle subconscious. Um, we're, we're operating on things in the background and essentially if we're saying, as I'm saying, what we are doing, the things we do, the, the things we focus on, if those are prompted by our motivation, then what drives our motivation? And motivation it derives evolves out of needs. Needs evolve out of our beliefs. So there are those um, what we call um, moral imperatives, the things that we seek to protect our well-being. Beyond that, we are operating based on what we believe then it is critical, therefore it is critical, that we understand what we believe. And we, our choices are important in our beliefs. We choose what we are going to focus on. And when we internalize those choices, they form the basis of our beliefs, belief. And that belief system then drives what we think we need. And that need in turn prompts our motivation. And so we seek things based on sometimes or most times unconscious belief system. Therefore, it is imperative that we take time to examine what we believe examine what we really need, understand those needs, so then we can then link our behavior to the things that really matter to us. The way we capture this is that the things that matter most should never be at the mercy of the things that matter least. So what matters most to you? What might matters most to me? We need to really take time to understand those things so that we can live a more fulfilling and healthier life. Go forth, do good work. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Dennis V. Burke, and I will see you in another episode of the Leadership Conversation.